Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodie and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health, and your life. This video is going to be another skinny fat one. It is such a hard place to be and you are often keeping yourself stuck in that place by not realizing what you really have to do to make progress. And that is why I made that mindset video, the one before this. So if you haven't watched that and you are skinny fat and you're stuck, please go and watch that. I'll actually put the link in the description box. So yeah, this video, I thought I would respond directly to a comment I got from someone who is stuck and skinny fat. And I want to go over how I would set things up versus what she thought she needed to do. Because usually what you actually need to do is going to be different to what you are doing or what you think you need to do. And that is how you're going to get unstuck. Anyway, so this is the comment I got. It is, I'm skinny fat. I'm trying to eat at maintenance, but I've been eating at 1200 calories for nearly a year now. I can't even eat past 1400 and I'm doing weightlifting in the gym, but not seeing results. Can you do a video on reverse dieting? So I put the comment here for you so you can continue looking at it. So basically where this person is going wrong is to start with by believing they need a reverse diet to make progress because that is not the case at all. This person does not need a reverse diet. If you are on 1400 calories and doing weightlifting, not seeing any results and not even able to eat 1400 calories, that tells me that something is wrong with your training. But goes back to all the other videos I've made on training mistakes, I would be asking, are you using a proper program? Is your training split right for your skill level? Are you lifting with proper form? Are you lifting with proper tempo? Are you taking long enough rest periods between your sets? Are you getting stronger in those exercises week by week? If you are actually doing all those things, getting stronger, lifting with correct form, all of the things I just described, then you should be getting hungrier as you are getting stronger, as you are building muscle, you will notice you're getting hungrier and you should be able to eat 1400 calories pretty easily. I know you're small, but I have worked with a lot of girls that are skinny fat and are small and start out eating hardly any food, but then their appetite increases as they're making progress in the gym. In some cases, you might need to push yourself to eat that bit extra food to start with, but often what I see is that you actually want it because you are hungrier. So in this case, I actually think you need to go back and look at your training to start with. And then if you want to do a reverse diet, you can as well, but there's no point doing that if you're not training properly. So how I would do it, sort out your training, jump to 1400 calories, make sure you are hitting your protein target. And then if you want a reverse diet from there, that is fine. But it's not really a reverse diet. It's more like just slowly increasing your calorie intake to make sure you keep making progress. And again, it kind of comes back to this mindset thing and changing your mindset because right now you actually have potential to slowly very slowly gain weight like you have room for that and so if you're building muscle that's what's going to happen but it doesn't mean that you aren't able to lose fat at the same time with the body recomposition process building muscle losing fat are separate processes happening at the same time but those separate processes can happen at different rates. So there might be a period where you are building muscle faster than you are losing fat, but that muscle gain is going to help support future fat loss. So don't be scared if the scale is going up a bit, if your measurements are staying the same or going down, which often happens. That is a really good indication, along with your strength increases, that you are building muscle and losing body fat. And if that is happening, you can kind of keep pushing calories up. But it's really hard to say how much and how often because that is going to depend on your progress. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. If you wanted to apply to work with me one-on-one -on -one so I can help you get unstuck, I put a link to my application in the description box. 
And if you have any questions you want me to answer in a video, I also put my email in the description box. Feel free to email me. That is all for now. I will see you in the next video.